Good morning and Merry Christmas, church. This is Pastor Matthew with Pastor Jan. And we are at Calvary, and we're glad to welcome you to our Christmas Day service today, wherever you're coming from. And it may be that you're in the comfort of your own home. It may be that you've traveled to be with family or friends. Whoever you are, wherever you're coming from, we are so glad that you are here today. And we hope that the service is a blessing to you. Um, I want to thank those who are participating. There's a number of people from the life of our church who are helping with the leadership of the service. And I appreciate their gifts today. And I want to thank you and invite you into the generosity of your offering today and our giving towards our Christmas mission and ministries. At the beginning of December, we launched uh, Chiralagua Christmas Mission, and you gave generously to that. And we saw there was an increased need, and so we've chosen to continue that and make that part of our Christmas Eve offering today. So we invite you to do so, maybe through your envelope for Christmas or maybe through giving online through our website. And we invite you to do so. And now may you be blessed in the midst of our worship service today. We welcome the Jebusing family, Joanna, Jensen, and Jack, to light our Advent candles this Christmas day. Advent hope moves us. Advent love leads us. Advent joy stirs us. Advent peace stills us, that we might affirm our King Jesus. It is time. We set flame to this Advent affirmation by lighting the Christ candle. We believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He was the long-awaited Messiah whose coming was prophesied. The same Jesus lives today in our hearts. He deserves our highest loyalty and total commitment. In Jesus Christ, our hope is fulfilled. Our love is consummated. Our joy is complete and our peace is sealed. Rejoice in Savior is born. Let us pray loving God, thank you for sending Jesus to us as a baby. Through this act, you put light into the world. We symbolize this by lighting the candles. Please help us be a light to everyone we meet. Amen. Amen.
warm and dry for Mary and Joseph and the new little baby boy. The angels sang their songs, oh yes, the angels sang their songs to Mary and Joseph and the new little baby boy. The shepherds came to see, oh yes, the shepherds came to see. Mary and Joseph and the new little baby boy. The wise men brought their gifts, oh yes, the wise men brought their gifts. To Mary and Joseph and the new little baby boy. It happened long ago, oh yes, it happened long ago. But we still remember that new little baby boy. Nice job, Mrs. Posey's class.
Emmanuel has come to us. Would you bow your heads as we pray? Emmanuel, God with us, come to earth, made flesh amongst all peoples. We thank you for this Christmas day. We thank you that we are a Christmas people, a people filled with hope and peace and abundant joy. God, we thank you so much that we can gather and give praise to you to worship the newborn king in song, in scripture, and in testimony. And now, God, Lord, we think about all those near and far that dwell within our hearts, and we ask a blessing upon each person, each man, each woman, each child. We thank you for the presence of life and your life within each of us. It's in Emmanuel's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our scripture for this morning comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. And this was the first registration and was taken while Cornarius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place in the guest room. Now in that same region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angel had left them and had gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed, amazed at what the shepherds told them. And Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, just as it has been told to them. This is the word of God for the Christmas people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Pastor Jan. Today I wanted to share a Christmas memory Um, I'm sure you have many of your own, and this is a good day to remember and reflect upon those. So the one I want to share with you, I have lots of Christmas memories, as my family can tell you, and as you've heard perhaps over the years. But one of my favorites is um, something that happened year after year. So every year at Christmas, my sisters, my, my older, my younger sister and I would get up, we would hear the Christmas story. We heard what Pastor Jan just read, read to us. My dad would read it. We'd open our presents. We'd enjoy some food, but then we'd get in the car and we would drive 45 minutes to my grandmother's house. Uh, Grand Fran is who we called her. Her name is Frances Swope. And uh, what I loved about that, I would come in and Grand Fran always had a job for me. She, she would have me go outside and chop wood for her. And, um, and I chopped the wood and I would bring it in 
and I would have the privilege of lighting the fire in her fireplace, which we didn't have a fireplace that we used in my house. Um, so I got to light the fire inside, which is kind of cool. And then uh, the Christmas tree was there with the lights all on it and tinsel. There were stockings. Uh, there was the light from the fire. And my cousins and I would gather around, a whole bunch of us, and we'd sit on the carpet right inside of the, in front of the fire. And we'd play card games. Um, we'd play Rummy 500 and all kinds of different card games. I love that. Um, it wasn't a present uh, that's wrapped, but it was a present to me. And I love the being present with my cousins, my family, um, even at times when we fought, it was still good to get back together and remember that there's a light that is brought to us and that can fill our hearts and our minds with a sense of God's presence and nearness. And we can feel that certainly in worship in, in the sanctuary. We can also feel that and acknowledge it and celebrate it in the comfort of our own homes as you're doing it today. And so I celebrate that. And I want to invite us to remember to not only receive the light, also to be the light today. Today is Christmas, so I hope that you might have received a present. And if you didn't receive a material present of any form, know that you are receiving the present that is the presence of God. Receive the light of the Christ today and maybe try to be the light a little bit more. If you're a kid, uh, maybe try to help out around the place. Um, be mindful and appreciative to your family for whatever they were able to provide to you. As an adult, maybe the same thing. Maybe try to help somebody else in need. Maybe help out your family and remember that we have a holy obligation to love and to care for them, even when there might be uh, imperfections in our own lives and their lives. And also to be appreciative towards them and uh, to care for each other. And so I want to just celebrate today the presence of God in our midst. I want to celebrate the light of Christ that is shining among us today. And I want to invite you to be a people of Christmas, knowing and celebrating the presence of God. And with that, I say to you, Merry Christmas. Take care and God bless.